Aquaculture is the fastest growing sector of world food economy, providing nearly 50% of the annual world fisheries production of 110 million tons in 2006. Fish is the country's most important non-traditional export commodity and the fisheries subsector accounts for about 5% of the agricultural GDP. Export earnings from fish and fishery products on average accounts for approximately 60 million US dollars annually. Asila Farm is one of the fast rising private commercial producers of tilapia in Ghana with about 45 employees producing approximately 4 metric tons of tilapia per month. My name is Obobi Alexander, the CEO of Asila Farms Company Limited. Asila Farms was established in the year 2012. It is located at Obelemanya in the Lower Manyakrobo district in the eastern region of the Republic of Ghana. I'm Mrs. Presla Ousobobi, the managing director of Alcela Farms. Alcela Farm started basically three years ago with five cages, and now we can boast of about 40 cages. Fish is a preferred source of animal protein in Ghana and about 65% of total domestic production of fish is consumed locally. Fish is expected to contribute 60% of animal protein intake. The per capita consumption is estimated to be about 25 kilograms per annum. Unfortunately, the total output per month falls short of total consumption. As we know, in the 2010 population census released by the Ghana Statistical Service Department, it was recorded that the fish stock is in a deficit of about 60 percent. It means we are unable to meet the demand for fish in this country. We've also started catfish business, which is also doing well in the market. So the demand for catfish also prompted us to invest in the area. And as we speak, the area is also performing very well. We construct the, the cage five by five or four by four, either wood, wood or metal. After constructing the cages, you will put a um, uh, protection net. After the protection net, you will put harpa in it. Then you will put the blue, you will buy blue stocks and put it into the harpa. This is the protection net, and uh, this is the production net. This we call it floating stand. Some people call it feed guider. Some also call it uh, feed barrier. Some put feed feed protector. And then, and then that you will call it. Four by four, you will put males 16 and females 48. You, you will leave it for two weeks before they start producing. When you are feeding them, don't just throw the feed to the cage, but you will spread it. If you didn't spread it, they will hit each other and they will have sore on their body.
as lucrative as tilapia farming may be, there are challenges with regards to feed and fuel consumption. About 60 to 70 percent of our overhead expenditure goes into feeding, which sometimes discourages a lot of people to go into the aquaculture business. Pachomede Abaya, baby, I'm a DJ and will be our friend now, mommy. So she showed me now, mommy, and will be other friend. A human may I check? By eighty nine, our cellar farms, a honey walk. Your frau obele obele mania, a honey a walk. It's me better, a ma or how much am I? A boar for her name, mommy, car crown on the end yet. Car crown in the end yet, and yet my uncle. I'm appealing to the government. You should at least come to our aid, even if possible, to subsidize the feed that we buy in the market. The fashion sector plays an important role contributing significantly to national economic development objectives related to employment, livelihood support, poverty reduction, food security, foreign exchange earnings and resource sustainability. We entered into the aquaculture business to also create job opportunities for the community that is the young and women living within the Obelemanya environs. As we know, tilapia is the most lucrative business in this country. And it's the only business that can create a lot of job opportunities. My name is Sir John. I've been working with Asila Farm for the past three to four years. They produce one of the best tilapia in the system. Their tilapia has a very high demand in the market. When you send it to the market, it's easy to sell it as compared to the other farm. I am Elizabeth I tell you, Bami, I was the Nija Tilapia Nature Music, you know, Jen, what you know, Nature Mia, he yoga, your human sedum, Nika, the Bracani, I draw a wall and if you are a movie, you do not have a So, I am okay. I am one and one. I am in 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 one. I
Astra Farms Company Limited has the vision of expanding their scope of activities. Our target is to produce good fishes, healthy fishes, into the Ghanaian market. Asila is a fast-growing business with high investment returns. I will entreat each and every Ghanaian who want to invest to look at the tilapia business. to encourage everybody who want to invest into tilapia business to try Asila Farms, which their return is 100% assured.